UK Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the first stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the Northern Trust is about to begin. Hi, I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam, and we find ourselves in the northeast of the country in beautiful Norton, Massachusetts. In fact, not far from where Tom Brady has helped the Patriots win six Super Bowl titles, and we're at the beautiful TPC Boston. This is a great golf course, redesigned by Gil Hans. It was originally by Arnold Palmer, redesigned by Gil Hans in 2007. And it's a big golf course, meaning it takes up a lot of the property. And it's, it's one of those golf courses where you know that you should be making birdies, but they're not that easy to come by. There's a bunch of holes out there where you get into a difficult stretch of the golf course, back nine, starting with 12, 13, 14, where you're really just kind of hanging on for dear life. But all in all, it's a good opportunity to make some birdies. This, though, will show us who's actually striking the ball the best. It's not so much a putting contest usually at TPC Boston as it is a ball striker's paradise. So I think you're going to see the ball strikers or the better ball strikers in the PGA Tour rise to the top. Is it a ball in place golf course or bombs away? It's both. I don't think it really suits one or the other. But let's face it, I'm going with the bombers. Can't wait to find out what happens here. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Starting the round at even par. This hole is a par five. From the back of the par five, 542 yards. Players want to take out any club, driver three, whatever it takes to miss the bunkers down the right-hand side in order to give them the best opportunity to knock it on in two. However, danger lurks everywhere around this green, so players playing cautiously might want to consider laying up. Birdie fours are always a good score to this hole, and you're never disappointed with a five. Well, very excited to get some playoff action here as it begins right now. And Rich, why don't you feel the people in at home just exactly what this FedEx Cup means to the players on the PGA Tour? It means that their body of work that they've done all year long is going to finally be rewarded. Now, the players that are on top of the list, they have a golden opportunity to win $15 million. And those players that still have work to do, there's an opportunity for them to make the final push to get in the top 30, but there's plenty of work to be done. So this really is a culmination of the entire year, and players look forward to that. They want to win the FedEx Cup playoffs. They want to be the champion. However, it's not an easy task, especially at this time of the year with so much riding on the line. Oh, well played. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. This one's looking good. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. And with that, he'll stay right there at even par. Teeing off here at the third hole. Par three from the back tee measures 208 yards. A split green here. It is difficult to make birdie twos, but par threes should be had. Pretty sure that one's headed left. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. A bit short with that effort. And he's left himself a long way between the holes, so let's get this one close. A wonderful putt. He can claim it, back-to-back -back birdies. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. After initially struggling coming on to tour after a prodigious amateur career, Matt Kuchar's found his real niche, hasn't he? He knows what to do with his golf swing and gets the most out of it. I've never seen a player that has been as consistent as he has been for as long as he has been. The man is a human ATM machine. Every time he puts the golf ball in the ground, they start handing him cash as fast as they can. It's ridiculous. Finally got a couple of more wins in 2019, and I got to say, he has really been impressive throughout his entire career, but just the run that he's been on over the last 12 years or so. It's simply amazing. Job done. Let's head to the next. Sitting at one over for the day. The fourth at TPC, Boston Rich, a great short par four. 
Par four measures 298 yards from the back tee. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. That should find the fairway. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, this is Patrick Cantlay getting ready for his next shot here on the fifth. Nice putt to make that one. Give yourselves a pat on the back. I will take that also into the top five now. And back to the course with the live action. Second shot here on the fourth. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Lovely shot out of the bunker. That's in tight. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. It's on a good line. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Currently at plus one for the day. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Par four, 466 yards. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. From around 170 yards here. Opting for the five iron. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Now yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. A good look at a birdie here. This one's tracking. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Trailing by eight strokes now after that hole. Time to tee off at the sixth. Par four, 465 yards for the back tee. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pond fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. Pretty good shot there. Lining up from around 160 yards. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. That's just inside the range. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. John, have you got a read on this one? This putt's long, fellas, and it's, it's got to be at least 31 feet. It's a ripper. I like it. Two in a row. That shot's so good. We need to have another look. John, what's going on out there? Well, guys, I'm down here on the seventh hole, and this is Matt Kuchar's next shot. Ouch, that hurts. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. 
And coming off the booty, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Par five that measures 600 yards from the back tee, and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker 100 yards away, or do I lay back of it? Either way, you must make a par five here, because birdies will be had by the big hitters. Well, Rich, as these FedEx Cup playoffs get underway at the Northern Trust, you've got to really like the chance of this player to go all the way and win the whole thing because they've had a strong season, a few wins, and they've got what it takes in my eyes. The wins have been massive, but it's how he's accumulated those wins. They've come against some pretty stiff competition. Uh, he's had some brilliant performances, went under the utmost pressure, and when he hasn't won, he's been lurking. He's been hanging around close by, so he's awfully comfortable being up near the lead he's comfortable when the pressure is at its greatest there's no reason why this player cannot continue this great run of form all the way through the playoffs and take home the big prize at the end yep that shot safely on the green already had a few birdies today this for another It's got a chance. Yep, we'll take that. And that will take him to two under. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Par three measures 213 yards in a diabolical green, to say the least. The left-hand side sits much higher than the right-hand side, and the green is usually very firm. A tough ask. Well, that's beautifully judged. Why don't we recap what Patrick Cantlay did just moments ago? Our player currently in second, making a really great shot. Eleven feet to the cup. that that's their fourth birdie and with that we'll move to three under par some lovely momentum for this player moving up the leaderboard you've arrived at a par four step up to the tee and own it ninth hole par four 472 yards from the back tee bunkers down the left will not come into play and this green sits below the players on their second shot we have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Well, let's catch up with this play just a moment ago. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. Let's get back to it, shall we? Four in a row. You're on some sort of a roll. Looks to be going with the six iron. Just needs a little bit more of a kick to the right. Left yourself an opportunity. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. That's a good putt to make. We'll take that. And that will take him to four under. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. We've reached the beginning of the back nine. The tee is yours at the 10th. Par four, just 425 yards on the card, but this hole plays so much more difficult than the yardage. 
water to the left of the green, bunkers surrounding it on both sides. Find the fairway, you'll have a good look at making birdie. You miss the fairway, good luck. Fours, fives, and sixes come into the equation. Playing this shot from 120 yards. Five shots off the pace. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. And this putt will take them to five under. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Looking better. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will take him to five under. He's sharing 13th place. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. Part three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by, as pars can be as well. Great ball striking. It's a thing of beauty. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. And now we go to the 12th, where this happened just a moment ago. This is a superb shot from Patrick Cantlay. Great putt. And this putt to move into the top 10. Go on, get in the hole. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. That's a good way to move into the top 10. He's currently sharing eighth position. I tell you what, inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, things are definitely heating up. We've arrived at a par four hole. Par four, 510 yards. It is a brute. Those bunkers down the right-hand side are a natural attraction for wayward golf balls. Second shot is down the slope. A big, deep, gaping bunker on the right-hand side will also find its fair share of golf balls. All in all, just a tough hole, to say the least. Playing this shot from about 210 yards out. Three behind our leader. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Nicely done. Time to find out what's happening at the 13th hole. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Let's return to live play now. The important part here, they make it, they're into the top five. This is a good chance. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. Well now, things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. This hole's a tough two-shotter. A long par four. Par four, 447 yards. Tee shot up the hill to a blind landing area. Second shot to a green that is surrounded by a cavern of bunkers. If you miss all those and find the green in two, then you'll have a decent look at a birdie three. 
Second shot here on their 13th hole. Going with the six iron here. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. Yeah, nicely played. Make this, and you'll move into a tie for third place. Get in the hole. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And that should secure the par. Well done. Yeah. He's currently tied for seventh. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Par four from the tips, 495 yards. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway? You have a decent look at finding the green in two, but I gotta say it is a difficult par four, and you'd be happy to walk away with that score. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. I'm over on the 15th hole now, guys. This is Cantley's next shot. Well, this one might need to get down a little. Okay, let's get back to the action. The 14th hole at TPC Boston is a par five for the locals. They converted par four for the tournament, Rich, and it's a strong second shot down the hill. Second shot, very narrow opening to this green. If you miss it out to the right in the bunkers, you have a difficult time getting it up and down. Out to the left, you have some options. Parts can be made. We need this one to bounce right. A quality shot that outside chance of the birdie but a two putt here is still good a spot in the top five on the line here looking great now that's outstanding, what a putt. And that will take him to eight under. And it's time to recap that play. And as the scorecard suggests, heading up the leaderboard. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Got to like it. The honor is yours. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. Par four, and a fun little par four at that. Just 421 yards from the back. Fairly generous fairway, but a green that can provide some entertainment as there's some different swales in the green, and your golf ball can go a wandering if you're not careful. That's tiny from about 130 yards here. Just a stroke behind the leader. And choosing the eight iron here. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. Ooh, right by the hole. 
The opportunity to make their par. And the putt drops, now an eight under, heading down the stretch. And just a few holes remaining. Let's see what they can produce. Patrick Cantlay is heading the field in this one. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you handle the 16th hole. Par three, just 161 yards from the back. However, watch out for this green. There's a large shelf on the right-hand side. If it's up there, good luck getting it close. And whatever you do, don't be silly and hit it left in the water. That's just a bad shot. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Oh, well played into birdie range here at the 16th. This putt is about eight feet. This one started out on a good line. Oh, well hold, he'll take the birdie. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau's effort. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Oh, oh what a shot! And mark him down for a birdie. And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. Patrick Cantley is atop the leaderboard with a two-stroke lead. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Ting off here on the 17th hole. 17, par four, 412 yards, dog leg from right to left. Second shot is down the slope. Lots of bunkers on this hole, but should you avoid them and find this sliver of a green, then birdie will be on your mind. Nicely done. Well, Rich, this player is certainly making moves up the leaderboard, aren't they? Absolutely nice push on this final round. Still needs to keep the foot on the gas, continue making birdies if they have any hope of winning. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Well, these are the kind of putts that bring out the best in players. Do you think this person's clutch? We're certainly going to find out momentarily, Luke. Ooh, nice line. Well, nicely done. Holds the puck for back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. He's currently in the second position. Of all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich, there's plenty that feel the TPC Boston can be right up with the very best of them. Par 5, 530 yards. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase on the golf ball down the slope. That'll leave them with a very short second shot to a dangerous green. Big, deep bunker right and a large hollow on the left-hand side. Birdies and eagles have been made before, but so have sixes and sevens. Playing from around 240 yards. Only two shots off the pace. Going with a three-wood here. Well, you're going to need to think of your second shot already because that one's beached. Rich, this lies not too tough in the bunker here, but the occasion is. Yes, the moment. It always gets to you, doesn't it? It's a difficult thing sometimes to handle, the moment. Oh, that was silky smooth out of the sand. Good shot. And that will do it. His work is done here. That's a shame. They came oh so close to what would have been an incredible comeback victory. The stories that we could have told if they completed the victory would be endless. Unfortunately, not getting it done, but still, what a performance on this.